Hey guys, today's story is about a man-child. Over the summer of 2019, I ran Vampire the Masquerade at my university's D&D club. I got the book on sale and wanted to give it a try, so I wrangled some players and I got a game going. The first issue that I ran into was that there was only two games running that summer. Mine and one of the club officers' 3.5 games. The problem? Nobody on campus liked 3.5 and so nobody ever showed up to the game, leaving the officer running the meetings without anything to do. He expressed a strong distaste for systems focused on role-playing rather than combat in the past, and joined my game only begrudgingly. As some backstory, in my world, my players woke up in a new city as vampires, after being unconscious for five years. It was a part of this grand mystery that I was working on. All of their families were supposed to have presumed them dead. This player decided to play a richer, cockier version of himself. He even used his real-life name and played a serious I'm too good for the rest of you type, and immediately started trying to either take charge of every situation or to split the party and run off by himself. I forget a lot of the in-world terminology, but within the first session, the players were taken to meet one of the local vampire leaders because they were infringing upon their territory. In Vampire the Masquerade, these extremely old vampires are unimaginably powerful, especially compared to brand new, diluted ones. I did everything in my power to make that totally clear, and every single player got it. Except this guy. He decided that his character must be totally uncompromising and must never submit to anyone, ever. He started badmouthing this leader to his face and refusing to cooperate with the rest of the party. As such, his hand was cut off, and he seemed upset, and so I agreed to wreck on the entire counter, as I was far more concerned with people having fun at that point than dishing out consequences. Throughout the game, he continued splitting the party, making my job a heck of a lot harder, and trying to claim access to billions of dollars in resources even though he was pronounced dead before the game began, and that I told him before the game started that that would break the scenario and that we couldn't. So I told him no, each and every single time. Finally, one day, he tries to mind control somebody over the phone. He can't see them, they're in another country, and the ability itself was worded specifically to prevent this sort of thing. So I told him no, and that's where I screwed up. He went quiet for about five minutes as we all kept on playing before shouting, Screw this! and walking out of the room. About ten minutes later, he comes back and shouts, Why the heck do you hate me? I calmly explain that I don't, and that the ability didn't allow for that under my reading, and that I haven't been singling him out. He was going out of his way to try and receive special treatment, or ignore certain aspects of the world to the detriment of the party. He breaks down and shouts, Screw you! and continues to do so, over and over again. All six of my other players are just staring at him blankly. Finally, I tell him, Get out. You can't play with us anymore. You're being a child. He screams back, No, you're being a child. He then hops on the club discord and removes my right as a DM, and then rage quits the whole event for the summer so that no other group can meet. The club president sided with us and gave me my DM rights back, as well as appointed another officer to run the sessions. But by that point, the damage was done, and I didn't feel like running anymore. One of my players even had a panic attack that night over the screaming, and several of them were harassed by him over private messages. This was one of the least pleasant RPG experiences I have ever had, and this guy was over a decade older than the next oldest person in the group. Well, guys, I think one of the things that needs to be asked, did people not like 3.5, or did people simply just not like this guy? For someone who is 30 years old to straight out act like a little five-year-old child is rather... disgusting? I'm not quite sure what word to use here, really. It's just... sad, I suppose. And it rather sucks that the DM and probably the other players also probably don't really want to do too many TTRPGs anymore, or at least maybe a while before they do it again because of this guy. But in any case, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have a story that you'd like me to narrate, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.
go. You're being a child.